Tom Baker with Build Green Industries. I'm very excited to share with you some of the things that we've been doing to build more energy efficient houses and, and to have structures that allow us to control the heat, humidity, and your utilities cost for building and for living in any house that you would want to construct. Our basic premise is to start with a, an envelope and a structure that you can envelope or create, the, create so the outside environment stays on the outside and you're only heating and cool the inside. The ways that we're doing that is using ICF construction that starts with the foundation and the ICF is insulated concrete forms that has concrete on the inside with reinforced concrete uh, or re with rebar going in both directions and, and styrofoam insulation on the outside. That allows for a, a, a structure that will withstand a, a 100 mile per hour 2x4 test that blows into it and also capes out air infiltration but also makes a very strong structure from wind events or from fires. Then, once that structure is put in, then we envelope the house by using spray foam. And the spray foam insulation allows us to totally seal the house up from the outside environment. When that happens, then we can create an HVAC system that allows you to heat and cool the house with much better conditions than you would have if you didn't seal up the house from the outside. The house that we construct is totally uh, sealed and it's vent free and this allows for that there's no air introduced into the structure that it's not conditioned. So any air that we introduce there has the pollen and the humidity and the dust taken out of it. Okay, now that I've kind of summarized what we're going to try to accomplish, let's take a walk over to the property so you can actually see some of the components in place where it's a lot easier to understand what it is that we're trying to accomplish here. Hi, I'm Tom Baker from Build Green Industries. We're going to be showing you a house here that's very logical, very common sense, and has a lot of potential for making your house, your environment, a better place to live, and it's also cost effective. We're going to walk through the house on the outside, and then we'll show you what some of the features are on the inside that you might want to consider as you decide who's going to build your house and how you're going to build it. We're putting a geothermal loop in. Here's the one end of it. It goes all the way around the house on this foundation. So we're putting a horizontal loop that allows to extract the heat and energy that's in, naturally in the ground in South Carolina. I think what I would want to impress upon anybody, if we say a house is energy efficient and we're using less energy than another house, then it should show up on a, on a sub-meter or a meter. So the meter on the house here is determining how much energy is being used by the house and what you're paying for for utilities. So if we affect some type of change or do something that is not typically recognized or very familiar with it, then there should be a change in the meter and how much you're paying for it every month. Another thing that we did when we built the house is that we divide the sewer into gray water and black water. Black water would go directly to the sewer treatment plants. The gray water could be recovered and used for flushing toilets and or for irrigation if you treat it a little bit. But certainly you would be lowering your water consumption and how much it goes back to sewer. From the outside of the house, this will look like typ any, any typical house. But what we did here is we have a raised foundation, and the raised foundation has an, um, a barrier and insulation on the, on the above grade and the first two feet. And so that those are the things you can't see. So on the outside of the house, as you look at it, it looks like anybody else's house. But we're picking the windows and picking where to spend money. And it's always best to spend money where you reduce the amount of energy that you might want to have to put in the house before you do any other thing because you'll get the best value out of that. So this house that you can't see has um, insulation on the first three feet of the raised foundation and the first two feet inside. We have a drain on the outside if we want to, if we have any surface water that we want to get into, but in fact when you do this we have less water being um, exposed to the surface with a house built here than before when the house was here. So there's less surface water or less storm water when we're recovering the water in the ground. In fact, if you use the same system, we could recover this water, the storm water, and put a tank in here, help flush out the system, reduce your storm water uh, um, size and your liability there, and also use it for irrigation because you can capture the water and leave it underground. And there's a lot of potential energy in any body of water, particularly if it's underground, if you're going to use it for cooling. Again, a house like this has all the amenities, so we have a screened-in porch. And if you look at the construction of the house, we use hardy plank siding. 
Another thing you'll notice is that there's no venting. There's no venting underneath the roof rafters, and there's no venting in the attic. So I'm not venting the, the environment at all. The, the whole idea of not venting is that you leave the environment outside so I don't have a heated, hot environment inside my shell. So as you can well see, this house looks from the outside like any other house. When we're going to go inside, we're going to show you that the inside, besides a few features as a wider window and the mechanical system that you'll see, and we'll be able to take some pictures on that. But other than that, you can't tell what is different on this house other than the fact that it's, it's comfortable. We're going to be guaranteeing that the whole house is the same temperature from one side to the other that the wall temperatures, ceiling temperatures will all be within two degrees of where, so you could set the thermostat anywhere in the house. What's also is that we can lower the humidity. We have an energy recovery unit that's inside, but that's none of the stuff you can see. And so we'll go inside the house. Okay. Now that we've seen everything that you've seen on the outside, what I'm going to try to do is summarize up for you. You've seen the concrete structure. You've seen how we envelope the house. You've seen how everything's sealed from the outside. We're vent free um, from the outside structure from looking in, meaning that there's no penetration from the outside to the inside that, that brings anything in. You've seen the geothermal loops on the ground on the outside. What we're going to do now is that we're going to go inside the house. 